Hello everyone and welcome back to Baking with Dimmy. Today what I'm going to share with you is how to make the tiramisu roll which has been pretty popular on my page on Facebook. So my daughter actually asked me, she goes, Mum, please show everyone how to make this. So what we're going to do today is share with you how to construct this so that everyone knows how to put it together. There's a few ingredients that I've got here and as I go through I'm going to actually explain them. The most important one is our lady finger biscuits that so we're going to need a whole packet. You can purchase these from any Woolies or Coles. Uh, we're going to need some frangelico and we're also going to need two cups of strong coffee. Now I've used the percolated coffee. If you don't have a machine, just use two tablespoons of coffee and two cups of hot water. So to that we're going to add a third of a cup of frangelico which you can buy in any bottle shop. So that goes straight into our coffee. You're also going to need two sheets of greaseproof paper, which I have actually stuck together. So all I did is cut two strips of sheets and then just join them together with a little bit of sticky tape. So what we're going to need to do is open up our biscuits and then I'll show you how to lay them. So just open all your bags and have them ready. I just used some scissors to do that. So we need to do the base first because we want that to soak um, with the coffee before we actually roll that and before we actually make the, um, the custard mix. Okay. So we we'll need those in there. So all we're going to start off is we're actually going to do three rows of biscuits. And all we're going to do is we're going to dip them in, in, turn and out. Do not over soak your biscuits. Start on the end of your sheet of paper. So in, turn and out. And we're actually going to do three rows of this. Leave a little bit on the end so that we can actually roll it after as well. If you over soak your biscuits, they're going to go too soft and then it's going to go all mushy and we don't want that. So continue to do this until you make your three rows. Okay, so I have finished layering all of the biscuits. So what I've got here is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 uh, rows. 14 biscuits in three separate rows. And all we're gonna do is put this aside and let it rest. When you're placing your biscuits, allow a bit of overhang on the side so that when we roll it, we can actually twist it and hold it together. From there, we're still gonna keep that little bit of um, coffee syrup. And we've also got a few biscuits left over. I'll use them after to decorate the top of that. From there, we're going to move over to the filling. So for the filling, we're going to need four egg yolks. Now you've got some whites left over. Don't throw those out. On my page on YouTube, I have got how to make Amoretti biscuits. On my Facebook page, I've also got how to make nougat. You can actually use that up. So don't throw it away. Okay, you're going to need a double boiler for this one. So I've got some water simmering in a pot. Um, to have it ready. So for this one here with the four egg yolks and we've also got half a cup of normal green, uh, sugar and then we're going to bring this over to the side here on our cooktop while our water is still warm hot and we're going to pop this on top of that so we're actually double boiler we've got the double boiler with a stainless steel bowl and we also need a stainless steel whisk so just whisk your eggs together and what we're actually going to do is we're going to cook the eggs off and we're going to make them nice creamy and fluffy this will take about 10 minutes from start to finish so i'll just pop that up and all you're doing is you're whisking the eggs so if you need to have a timer pop it on 10 minutes be careful not to overcook your egg yolks at this stage. You'll know when it's ready, when the actual sugar granules dissolve and they all disappear and this actually changes colour. So just keep whisking this for about 10 minutes. Okay, so as you can see now, these are starting to go a pale colour. The sugar is starting to dissolve and you've got to keep whisking. Just make sure you that your bowl is not touching the water, otherwise it will cook your eggs. And make sure that you've taken your mascarpone cheese out as well. From the fridge, we're going to need a 250 grams of mascarpone cheese. So I have that out of the fridge so it's actually room temperature. And just keep whisking this until it dissolves. And it will start to thicken up as well as you go. See, so all the sugar has dissolved. This is thickened nicely. It does like a figure eight. 
At this point, turn it off and just keep uh, stirring because we've still got about three minutes to go. So there's enough heat from the base of the pot to keep going, but please continue to keep stirring, otherwise this will start to cook through. Okay, so this is done now. Now what we need to do is we need to put it in the stand mixer so it's nice, thick and glossy. Just using a scraper and then pour that straight into your mixing bowl. And then we're going to continue to beat this with the egg whisker for about four, to, about four minutes. Okay, so we've placed the egg and sugar into the mixing bowl using a whisk attachment. Pop that on and whisk that for four minutes as I said before. Okay, so this is all ready now and you can see it's gone like a pale colour. What we're going to do now is we're going to pop our cream on, which is 300 ml of cream. Make sure this is cold out of the fridge when you do this as well to get nice, soft, uh, nice peaks. So pop this on, whisk it up until it thickens. Don't overbeat it because we don't want it to spill the leather. So as you can see now this is starting to heat up. That's what we're looking for, a nice whisked cream. So from here what we're going to need to do is we're going to need one tub of 250 grams of mascarpone cream cheese and we're also going to need some vanilla extracts. And what we're going to do now that we've got the cream ready is we're going to pop that in here. And then we're going to put this back on the machine and we're actually going to whisk this and one teaspoon of vanilla sugar. So that can go in there. And one teaspoon of vanilla sugar, as I said before. I don't normally measure, but I'm going to put this one for you today. And then we're going to swap bowls again on the mixer and we're going to pop this one back on so that we can mix the mascarpone cream cheese and the egg yolk mixture together. Whisk this just until it combines. And then using a metal spoon, we're going to actually fold in the cream with the mascarpone. whisk attachment and just make sure that's all incorporated and then we're gonna up all the cream in here so that's 300 mils of cream whisked up and all we're going to do now is just fold this in do not over mix this process otherwise the egg yolk and the cream can actually split and we don't want that to happen so just sort of be a bit more delicate and gentle with this process. Once this is incorporated, then I want you to pop this into the fridge and leave it there for about 10 minutes before we place it on the biscuits. Okay, and that's it. So we'll pop that into the fridge for about 10 minutes. Okay, so we've had this sitting in the fridge for about 10 minutes. It's thick and dark, it's really nice. Now what we're going to need is a metal spoon and we're going to blob some of this on here and then we're going to smooth it out after. So just pour some of this on top. Our biscuits are nice and soft as well. When you're doing this, we're going to need to reserve a little bit of this filling so that we can put some on the top after. So about a third of that. And then all we're doing is just spreading this out over the top of the biscuits. Don't overwork this. As I said, we don't want to split the, cup, the filling. Okay, beautiful. That one, then we need some cocoa powder. And we're gonna need just a little strainer. And we're just gonna dust a little bit of the chocolate cocoa powder inside as well. Just lightly, don't overdo it. And then what 
we're going to need is some grated chocolate. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can get a block of chocolate and you can grate it. You can do it the cheats way, which I like being the cheat. <laughs> Anything that's simple is better for me. Um, and then all we're going to do is just put a bit of chocolate inside. Like so. Keep, only put about half of the block of the flake. Keep the other half, reserve it, so that after we can decorate the top of the, um, the roll. So what we're going to need now is a scraper. I've got a nice wide scraper. If you don't have one, it doesn't matter. You can do this without it. And all we're going to do is grab our paper from the end and we're slowly going to lift. Like so. And then with the scraper, all I'm doing is pushing it from the bottom. You use your hand or the paper in this and then just roll. And then as we're rolling then, after that, grab it from the ends and just let it free fall. So as you can see, our biscuits have softened nicely, which allows us to roll it. When you get to this stage, grab your scraper, grab the bottom of the sheet and just push it in from the bottom so it forms a nice roll and grab the scraper from the back so leave your paper there and then roll grab your end and twist them and then we've got a beautiful roll so that's why you need a scraper so you can tuck it in and get it nice. I'm going to grab some glad wrap. Then we're going to pop that, roll it into the glad wrap. Use your scraper to lift it up. the night before, you'll probably find it's even better. So bring that up. And do it quite tight, roll it, and pop this on your plate. Place it in the fridge. You can even do this a couple of days before you're going to use it, and then last minute just um, decorator. So one to two days you can do this prior or if you're going to use it today you will have to do this the day before or in the morning for night. Place this in the fridge and just allow it to sit. Okay so to finish this cake off it's been sitting for quite a while in the fridge now and it has firmed up. So what I'm going to do is unlock this and just finish this little baby off. So you take off all your glad wrap that we wrapped it in. Now when taking the paper off, you're just going to be a little bit gentle on the bottom of that and the end of that. long plate, lift it up and just turn it on the side. Okay. okay, so we've got it on the plate now. I did ask you to keep one third of the cream earlier, so we're going to need that. And what we're going to actually do is just cream some of this over the top. And just using a spatula or a knife, palette knife, whatever, just smooth that out over the top of the roll. 
and continue to do all of that until you cover the roll. And what I also did uh, while I was waiting for this to cool down is I whipped up about 200 mils of cream to decorate this with. Okay, so once we've spread the rest of the mascarpone filling, just put a little bit of cocoa powder on the ends. Just dust it. And as I said, I did whip up a little bit of cream before. Pop that into a piping bag with a little round tip nozzle on there. Starting from the end here, just do little blobs. Just like so. And if you want to, you can get a little spoon and from this side, you can just sort of Decorate it. You can decorate it any way that you like. It's totally up to you. What I've also got here is some of the biscuits that were left over. So I'm just going to put a few on top. This is optional. You don't need to do it this way. And I've got some of that flake left over. Just crumble a bit of that on top. And then pop this back in the fridge and allow it to set. And what I will do is I'll just cut the piece so that you can all see how this looks. So this is our finished product of the tiramisu roll. Mm. Oh my goodness, you have to try this, it's absolutely delicious. Please subscribe to my page for upcoming videos and I hope you enjoyed this one. So this is our special edition of Tiramisu Roll.